reggae musician Levi Roots arrived in the den with a product he had been cooking up in the kitchen and selling locally for 15 years, a spicy jerk barbecue sauce. He wanted £50,000 from the Dragons to turn that old family recipe into a nationwide bestseller. Put some music in my food for me and give me some reggae, reggae sauce. When I first saw Levi walk up the staircase, it was like a wow moment. Very different, great voice, and what a better way to advertise your product. My name is Levi Roots. I'm looking for 50,000 for 20% in my reggae reggae sauce. Reggae reggae sauce is a hot to mild jerk barbecue sauce. I've got a very nice order from a meat company in Yorkshire for, wait for it, two and a half million litres of reggae reggae sauce as their first order. I've had a nice letter from them, which, which I have with me. Um, any questions, please? Levi's bold promise of a huge order for his sauce had certainly grabbed the multi-millionaire investor's attention. Levi, can I just, uh, I just want to, it's something I don't understand. Um, uh, you've got an order for two and a half thousand kilos. Yeah. Is that the one you're saying is two and a half million litres? Yeah. Because I don't think that's right. Not, not two and a half thousand, 250,000, isn't it? 2,500 kilos. Levi did come unstuck with his numbers. And because I remember th sitting there and thinking about how much he wanted to produce and thinking that was like half a... You know, that was like a pint for every person in England or something, if that was a true volume. Uh, so he did have to do a pretty abrupt, you know, turnaround when I actually corrected his numbers. I don't think that he had an understanding practically how to run the business. Um, I don't think he had any idea what he needed to do to produce the numbers that he needed to produce to make it a viable business. Duncan Bannatyne had heard enough. Levi, there's no business in this. Um, so I'm going to let you know what I am, and I'm not going to invest. So I wish you the best of luck, but I'm out. And I just want to be clear. I think that trying to get into this market, we know how competitive it is. To try and range run product is kind of almost impossible. So, to let you know where I am, I like impossible challenges. <laughs> and this is the first time ever I've actually started to sweat. And I don't know whether it's the sauce that I've just Join taken, club. <laughs> or actually whether it's what I'm about to say. Um, I would offer you half the money for 20%. It is a gamble, it is a punt. Uh, I'd match that, 25,000 for another 20%, so you'd be talking 50,000 for 40%, leaving you 60%. That deal, it's not ideal for me, but at the same time, I think this is gonna do fantastic for, this, for, for the source, so I would accept it gladly. <laughs> Okay. Levi had done it. He'd had to sell twice as much of his company as he'd planned, but he'd secured a £50,000 investment and the backing of two powerful dragons.